Hey guys, welcome to part two of my first night in the camper van. Let's uh, check out my bed. Got uh, a <clears throat> new, brand new batteries in my headlamp, so I'm pretty happy about that. I was thinking maybe if I turn this brightness down, you'd be able to see better, but geez. You really can't record in the dark. I'm missing a window right there, or a blind, which kind of sucks because otherwise I'd feel totally enclosed. So I just need to get one blind, or maybe I'll take that blind off and put it on there, and then put my air conditioner over here in the window. But that's for a future video. I got the air conditioner already. I don't know how I'm going to put it in here, but uh, yeah, I think I might take this tonight and use it to power my inverter, to power my computer, to watch a movie, and yeah, if this gets too low, I'll uh, charge it with the van, no problem. Um, otherwise, I would have liked to be have my solar panel installed so I'd charge it up in the morning, but I mean, I will get there in the morning, but I... I don't know, I gotta, I'll figure it out. Well, anyways, I got some more video for you tonight, so stick around, stay tuned. Hey guys, I wanted to show you a hobo stove I made. Sorry, I'm keeping my voice down because there's a dog barking in the background. And every, every little move I make, he barks. So I don't want to keep people up and make them mad. But I'll show you my little hobo stove kit here I made. Just making a ton of noise. A damn dog. But here's my pot, my Stanley pot. And this stove runs off tea lights. I got my tea lights there. So I was going to have a can of chili beans tonight, but I forgot my can opener. Not prepared. I thought I was prepared. I mean, I brought so much stuff today. But not wasn't prepared enough, I guess. Every noise I make, he's barking. It's have to be really quiet. I think maybe put on the radio or something and he would uh be quiet maybe, I don't know. But since I'm boondocking I don't wanna cause a disturbance. It is a Saturday night though. So you think someone would be doing something, not, not just me. See one of those wicks isn't very tall, so I'm not going to get as much heat as four candles. It'll be more like three candles, but I've used this stove before. It'll do the job. It takes forever, but I usually have time, so it's not a big deal. Get some water here. Yummy. I also stole a plastic fork from my mom's house just because these guys are getting all rusty and uh, that sucks. 
I don't know, I'll have to look for a different uh, eating utensil, I guess. I traded this <clears throat> I traded this knife here for some of my artwork. Um, uh, it's a Trinidad Cutlery um, boys knife, I believe. I'm just making up some uh, <clears throat> steak bites for my ramen here. It really sucks because I don't have any refrigeration. But I'm guessing I'm going to have to cook this for a long time because this meat is not... That is beyond rare. If you can see that. So hopefully it will cook up in there. my fault. I wasn't prepared. So I guess I'll use old Rusty here. The fork's actually not rusty, so that's nice. I thought that steak looked pretty big. There's what I got, guys. Push that down. I might try to add more steak. You know, I know a pack of ramen noodles doesn't fill me up. So yeah, I think I'll add a couple more pieces of steak here. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. It's pretty fun to make. I think this is, I think this is going to be all the steak I'll use. This is steak, I don't know. I might uh, throw it on the fire if I get hungry later. Yeah, I can't refrigerate it. It's not really cooked. Alright guys, I guess I'll uh, bring you back when that's boiling. It'll probably take a while, so I'll have a few beers. Steak actually looks cooked now. It's been about, I don't know, an hour. But, uh, yeah, that's just three tea lights. One went out right away, so it cooked that steak and got my noodles done in one hour. And that's not bad. That's This is more like a survival stove. It's like a little kit you can keep in your car. I don't know, I'll probably eat soon because I just talked to one of my buddies and him and his girlfriend might come out. Also guys, I got the engine running. I'm uh, just charging the battery up. I only got half a battery left on my camera and I since my friends are coming out, I'm not going to hook this up yet. I'll just wait till tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll save some uh, battery here so I can get some video footage of when I'm ready for bed. And that steak in the can, well, that's done. I'm going to eat that right now. That steak cooked down and gave me a nice <clears throat> flavorful broth. It's too bad you can't see the fire very well. <clears throat> but yeah, this tea light stove will really do the job if you got time. I'm in bed. Um, 
My friends came and they took off about an hour ago. They stayed out here for about two hours. Before midnight, uh, a bunch of cars started coming down here. And, uh, <sighs> they were... One, the first car that came down here, he, uh, pulled around and then he came back and went around the loop and pulled around again and he was flashing his headlights up at the trees that is so but only one other car drove by that was a pickup truck but drove by real slow so I had my headlamp on and I I did wave at each of the vehicles so after I waved uh, they took off so. it's absolutely freezing back here I was, I got both the back windows open just to let that moonlight in because it's so, so dark out here. It's a little creepy. I was a little creeped out when all those cars would come down here, but I don't know, about one, about an hour later of all that, all the cars have disappeared. It's absolutely quiet. I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning, okay? Alright, good night. Hey guys, it's like 6.30 a.m. I uh, turned on the van because I'm freezing. Anyways, it's like 40 degrees out. Good morning, guys. It's too cold to move. Um, the rain and wind are blowing. Well, the rain is just off and on, but it's freezing. Um, I think uh, I might head out. So I did get some sleep, uh, and this new comforter I have kept me very warm. Um... So it wasn't too bad. I just don't have a heater or nothing, and that would have been so much nicer. And I don't know if this weather is going to clear up, but it's wet and cold. <sighs> and I thought the sun would be... I'll give you guys a... Oh! Betty, he bolted down. Look at you guys look at the campsite. Oh, it's freezing. See, there's the lake down there. I don't know if you can see that. The rest of the campgrounds past those trees. And then, <coughs> then there's a spot up here on top of the hill by the bathrooms. And there's no like power pole. But like I said, I've been camping here for years. And nobody's bothered me. Or told me to pay money or anything. So I left the uh, camp spot and I pulled up to my mom's apartment. And there's something I noticed. The plugins for the, uh, for the, to plug your car in during the winter. So I was thinking maybe I should have my extension cord stick out of the front. And that way I, it looks like I'm just running my, um, or, uh, keeping my car warm. But really I could have power inside. So, I don't know. That was just an idea though. Hey van fans, um, it's a little later in the day now, I uh, had a sandwich at my mom's house, um, tuna salad, it's pretty good, uh, but I just found a new spot down at the lake, um, <clears throat> and I got a great view.
But yeah, I chose this spot to put my solar, or to finish up my solar panel install. So hopefully I'll get that done today. And hopefully the weather changes. Hopefully it gets a little sunnier because I don't know about that caulk. But it should be okay. It's 41 degrees. So I think that'll be okay. All right. Alright guys, since I don't want to deal with ripping out all this stuff to get my solar panel wire to come through, I think I'm going to go through this heater vent. I think I'm just going to <coughs> drill straight up and then have my wire come down here. So, I'll try to give you a shot of that. All right, let's go for it. So here's how my solar panel will work. But this I don't know if this is going to be enough cord to reach now. I'm just going to work with it because that's where the hole is. So I'm just checking if that wire came through. Look, I got a bunch of steel here. Look at that. Pretty cool. Man, this is going to be sitting right in the water too, that sucks. This is why you got to think before you drill holes. Okay guys, I already drilled my holes, so I just want to see if these screws are going to work. Okay, they're going to work. That's a mess. 
I realized I forgot to do something, and that was to clean the um, clean the roof with alcohol before I put this on. So that was pretty stupid. Let's see if we have power inside. And if we got power, that'll be happy days, happy days. I'll finally be done with this thing. Not done, but done with the roof. Twenty three volts, guys. Can you see that? Twenty three volts. Sweet. Awesome. So happy. All right, guys. So I'm fin finally finished with the roof. I got everything caulked and the panels back on. I'll give you a quick look of just what it looks like. 